Before starting the video, you can download this lesson from the link on the description below so you can work with me. This angle here is equal to this angle. So A is equal to B or angle A equal angle B if you like. And this angle here is equal to this angle. So which is angle C is equal to angle D. And the reason for this is vertically opposite angles are equal. Example. So find the value of X. So this angle here, of course, is equal to this. So X is equal to 125. And we must give reason, okay? So the reason is vertically opposite angles are equal. Example 2. So we know that this angle is equal to this angle here. So in another word, X plus 40 degrees is equal to 120. And the reason is vertically opposite angles are equal. Now to find X, so what we do, we get rid of this 40 by minus 40 on this side and minus 40 on the right as well, of course. So which is cancel this out. So 100 minus 40 is 60 at 20 is 80. So therefore, X is equal to 80. Now, this angle, this line and this line combine. So therefore, this angle and this angles are equal. So with this symbol here, it means it's 90 degrees. So therefore, X, this plus 35 degrees is equal to 90 degrees. So in another word, this angle is equal to this. So the reason is vertically opposite angles are equal. Now to find X, so which is collect like terms first. So 10 plus 35 is 45. So X plus 45 is equal to 90. Now to solve for X, so we get rid of this 45 by do opposite. So move minus 45 on the left. So we minus 45 on the right as well. So 90 minus 50 is 40. At 5 is 45. So therefore, x is equal to 45. This one here. So we know that this angle at this angle is equal to this angle because this here and this one here is vertically opposite angles. So which is this line and this line is straight line. So this combined is become vertical opposite. So X plus 50 plus 10 is equal to this angle here, which is 23X plus 20. And the reason is vertically opposite angles are equal. So now to do this, which is collect like term first, or I can just move letter on one side and number on the other side. So I move X, I can move X on this side, and the 20, I move on this side. So that means 50 plus 10 minus 20 is equal to 3X minus X. So now 50 plus 10 is 60 minus 20 is 40. So this is 40 here. And then 3x minus 1x is 2x. So 2x equal to 40. Or 40 equal 2x if you like. Now to solve for x, we divide this by 2. And we divide this by 2. So this cancel out. So 40 divided by 2 is 20. So x is equal to 20. So if you need to practice more on solving these kind of equations, please go to the description and click on the link below. Please stop the video and try this one yourself.
first one. So we know that this angle and this angle is vertically opposite. So this means that M is equal to 132. The reason is vertically opposite angles are equal. Make sure you keep reason as well, okay? The most important is reason in this um, exercise here. Second one. So because this and this is a straight line, so this means that this angle and this angle are vertically opposite. So in another word, x plus 60 is equal to 140. And the reason is vertically opposite angles are equal. Now to solve for this, a minus 60 on the left and a minus 60 on the right. So this cancel out. 100 minus 60 is 40 at 40 is 80. So x is equal to 80 degrees. Third one. So if you think about it, this line is a straight line. So as this one here. So this means that this angle and these angles are vertically opposite. So they are equal. So in another word, this angle here at this angle at this angle is equal to this angle here, which is 120 degrees. So y, y plus y plus y is 120. So the reason is vertically opposite angles are equal. So now we just solve for y. So we need to collect like term. So y plus another y is 2y. And another one is 3y. So 3y is equal to 120 degrees. To solve for y, we divide this by 3. We divide this by 3. So that cancel out. 3 go to 12 is 4. And this 0, we just write it down. So this means that y is equal to 40 degrees. So this means that y is equal to 40. Last question here. So first of all, we know that this is a straight line and this is a straight line. So this angle and this angle here are vertically opposite. So in another word, this angle here is equal to this angle at this angle together. So 2x plus 20 is equal to 32 at 47. And the reason is vertically opposite angles are equal. So do not forget, okay? Always keep reason because it's geometry and it's all about the reasoning. So make sure you write vertically opposite angles are equal. Now to solve for x, so what we do, we just collect this uh, light term first. So 32 plus 47. So 30 plus 40 is 70. 2 plus 7 is 9. So 79. And then what I do, I move the 20 on this side. So this means that 70 minus 20 is 50. So 2x is equal to 59. Then we need to get rid of these two, which is divided by two on the left because we want to get rid of this. So now we divide by two as well. Two go to five is two times and remember one. Two go to 19 is nine times because nine times two is 18. So remember one, so one and a half. So which is 29 and a half or you can write 2.5. So this means that X is equal to 29.5 Thank you so much for watching